With shrinking budgets and compacted development cycles, there is less time than ever to spend managing IT infrastructure. To simplify management, the NetApp E2800 comes with an easy-to-use, web-based user interface, Centricity System Manager. You don't have to install it, just point your browser and go. In this video, we'll see the initial setup wizard where we verify hardware, select our applications, and configure alerts. We'll also see how easy it is to create volumes with settings optimized for your workflows. The initial setup wizard starts with the welcome screen, which gives you an overview of what you can do with System Manager. Clicking Next takes us to a view of our hardware. Now here, you can give your array a custom name, but for now, we'll just accept the default. If you already have hosts defined, which should happen automatically if you also installed SMAgent, you can choose them here. You also have the option of defining hosts later. Choosing the applications you plan to support with your storage array will let the system match settings to optimize your experience. You can always change your applications later. Here, we'll choose SQL Server and VMware as examples. Related to applications are workloads, which are really just instances of applications. For example, if you had two SQL databases stored on the array, you would create two workloads, one for each specific database. Here you see just one workload for each application. Pools form the underlying storage configuration, and accepting the default is usually a good choice. And as with everything, you can always go back and change things later. This next pane lets us set up email alerts sent from the array by entering the appropriate information. After verifying enablement of NetApp Auto Support, a final review screen lets us double check all the settings we've just chosen. And after closing the wizard, we can see the big picture from the System Manager dashboard as shown here. Now we can create volumes for the workflows we specified earlier. Clicking Storage and Volumes takes me to the Volumes view. Clicking Create and Volume will start the wizard. Here we're creating volumes for our SQL database. So we'll select the host associated with this application and then the SQL server workload we specified earlier. Next, we'll add an overall database capacity. Note here that System Manager will automatically recommend an appropriate quantity and size of volumes to match your workload. You can edit these if you like, or simply accept the recommendation. After they're created, you can view all the volumes on a table. If you wish, you could also view them by designated application or workload by using the Applications and Workload tab. This can be useful if you have a large number of volumes. You can also use System Manager to view a variety of performance metrics for your storage array. You can view metrics such as latency, IOPS, and throughput, and you can view them by volume, a workload, or even individual drives. You can view the metrics on the provided graphs and timelines, or as a table, which you can also export for later analysis. In this video, we saw how simply and quickly you can configure your array and provision volumes that match the specific needs of your applications. The built-in performance monitoring capability of System Manager verifies storage performance at all levels, and this is only a sliver of the capability of Centricity System Manager. For more information, please visit the URL listed here. Thank you for your time.